him. See, he okay. is, he's the newest okay. thing. But anyway, Farrakhan's the newest okay. thing. Now, what's your last thing then before we go? This was a thing. I, I'm in what is Scientology, which is really funny. And right before I escaped out and woke up and escaped out, they said we're going to do a new thing. This magazine, Scientology and their successes. And I just wanted to show you this, just because they say how evil and horrible I am now. Because <laughs> they said how evil and horrible she is. <laughs> but Scientology says it too. That's only a front. They're keeping up separate fronts. And that's number three. Which is the wisdom, knowledge, and comprehension of how to keep up separate fronts. There I am. That was me, 2000. And I... The first time so I you made the magazine. I made the magazine, and the first time I escaped across the country. Two weeks later, went to Boston. You can see Magoo dancing in Boston, and I'm there. And my girlfriend was in reception on staff, and she said, "Tori," and I, I said, uh, "She said you're in the book." And I, my first thought was, "I'm never going to see this book again." And I said, "Can I get a copy of it?" This is the only copy I've ever seen ever of this thing. I mean, they trashed it immediately. Let me ask you something. In, yeah, they trashed in, in it. In your life right now, what is it that you live with in terms of them still coming after you? Well, they have their, these lies that I told you. They're up on the internet. But to me, like I had my neighbors over that were six at the time, and they started laughing reading it. You know, they said, you know, any bozo that can't understand that they're just sliming you is, you know, who cares? But um, they do little things, not too much, because I have my YouTube site now, and I have 10,000 subscribers at Tori McGoo for... And she has 10,000 subscribers because she is so fucking believable. ...before, and 2 million uploads of those videos. Mm. So they know now, if they do anything to me, I make a video of it that night. That's it. So they do, they still do, like tonight, they'll probably do something, because I said... So they'll do something, and they always do just a little thing, like they'll break off a leg off of one of my ceramic turtles, or they'll they'll move something in my backyard, you know what I mean, that I know was there, and now it's over here. It's just some stupid thing, just to say, we know, you know, we're here, and we're, you know, it's like, you know what, Scientology, you lost. I told you that. I told David Miscavige in 2000, as long as you're breaking up families, I'm going to be here. And you know what, you're still breaking up. But she didn't say how he's breaking up families. Did you see that? She said nothing about how they're targeting people. Oh, they may come and break something off, move something in her yard. Hmm. You're talking like this, you're going to have a black, a Scientologist black assassin after you ask. But she doesn't. She doesn't even say the word targeting, periods. Nor does she talk about uh, how she is fair game. Families, and here I am. Well, thank you. And last thing is I just want to thank you sure. and thank everyone who has helped me because the media, it's fabulous that you're letting me, you know. The media is fabulous. Yeah, because the media keeps your ass dead, dumb, dumb down, and blind. Share this with your audience. It's terrific. I can't thank you enough. Uh, anytime. I think it's very, I mean, I think that it, it gives people a chance to get educated. She thinks, she thinks, she thinks. What the fuck does she know? That's what we're about, and, and a chance, I mean, you're sitting here, and I should say this to our audience, with documents, showing me documents, talking about things that actually happened, and and coming from a, a, a place of goodness. So, I mean, I, I appreciate it, and, and I think you always also, and I invite my audience to do their own research. I mean, yeah. just like Tori yeah. says, go do your own book, research. You think and come to your own conclusions. We're not here to prophetize about anything. We're here to inform. This is to what Tori has to say. Check it out. See if you agree. See if you don't agree. But always, you know, give us your comments. And I am very grateful because I think it takes a lot of courage for you to continue doing what you're doing, not to mention energy. It's difficult to keep, you know, fighting a battle. Yeah, there's something else she didn't speak about. She didn't speak about... Um, Thank you all. Them zapping her energy or... She didn't speak about the weapons. She just said technology. Then she said it's turned upside down. Now they have more flesh and less technology. And she's just a fucking liar. She's a liar. Now, here's another one to me. That is a liar. You see, he still has on black. He's a fucking liar, and when, I'm, I'm not letting you hear what he says. You want to hear what he says, go and hear 
He has like over 17 parts. I think they're only 10 minutes a part. But I was listening to him and I... He's not telling you any fucking thing. He's not. He's not telling you anything and he has no documents whatsoever. Uh, here are two more. Uh, I think they were born into Scientology. Um, and like on the fence with them, if, if they are telling the truth or not. But like I say, I don't trust anyone, but I really don't trust me people because they'll tell me the truth out one side of their mouth and lie out the other. Let's go back and see what they're talking about just for a minute. Scientology philosophy, all right? I mean, it'd be like in Catholic school if you got in trouble and you had to do confession and say how Mary's. I mean, that's Catholicism. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, and also what happens in these schools, in, the church will know about them. I mean, if you're doing something bad enough, the church knows everything that's kids Right, if someone writes a report on you, it's not just... If you get a, 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 a KR, a, a knowledge report, right, right which is just a, a missive that someone writes against you, on something that was quote out ethics, then if it was if it was egregious or bad enough, then the Church of Scientology will have it put it into a folder with right. your name on it. And I've had a folder since I was four or five, so I've got a lot of folders. Right, right. He say he has a folder since he was four or five. <laughs> See, so I don't know okay, to trust him or not. So, well, I don't trust I anyone. Else but I wanted to ask you about the schools. Um, so, did they actually? require students to write up their OW? Yeah, they did, yeah. So what it was, was uh, if you had continuously gotten in trouble, if you uh, kept coming in late, if you couldn't get along with the teacher or the student, whatever you could do that's, that's unbecoming of a, of a student. You did it enough, yeah. You write up your OWs. I think I did my first OW write up when I was nine. Right, okay. All right, uh, and then I had to so like, place form an event. What I did, I, I poked Johnny in the eye. This is one of the things that um, uh, I say as a result of going clear, but it's not going clear is not the only place where this has been pointed yeah. out. That you know the difference between going into uh, a Catholic church and doing confession with a priest right. and sitting down with a Scientology auditor and you see how he put them both together. Mm -hmm. Confessional is that the priest isn't writing down the exact details, time, place, form, and event of everything you're telling him you've ever done bad and keeping it in a file in archives forever with notes so and again it's one thing if it's being done in a church maybe you can say you know, even in a Scientology church you could say it's ecclesiastical and, and whatnot but here we're talking about in a, in a school where students who aren't even Scientologists most of these students, just because their parents are Scientologists doesn't mean they're Scientologists are writing down basically everything that they've done mm. bad yeah yeah and, and, and the uh the, the parents are all on board with this. I mean, there's no parent that disagrees. If the parent disagrees, the parent gets pushed in the direction of getting kicked out of Scientology. No one wants to go that route. No one disagrees with the church. So when the church, or I mean, what will happen in a typical Scientology family is when a kid's doing something wrong at home or in school, it's, I'm going to write a chip, I'm going to write a KR on you, and it's going to go into your folder, right? And you're like, <laughs> You, you, you can hear this folder as a kid, you're like, oh hell, like that thing is growing, right? You can say fuck on this channel. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, yeah, I had, I remember this, this core supervisor at Flag when I was like 12 wrote a KR. Flag. For. Flag. They call it Flag, you know, to some kind of program they have. However, it, it, they will flag you even if you uh, never been with Scientology they will flag you but they left he's very young and he says he left did he leave I don't know I just know he left and he says he left but I don't know uh, and uh, that's why I'm not saying if he's telling me a lie now but the other lady I know she's lying I know she's lying. You're not going to be in Scientologist, Scientology 30 years, then get out and start talking about them, and they don't send anyone to kill you. I've never been in Scientology. I just started talking about Scientology, and already they're sending out the black assassins. Uh, my battery's getting low. And I'm coming back with... Mm, 
I want to show you a picture of this lady that was on a bus with me and then coming back uh, another lady was on the bus with me but they look just alike oh this is what I wanted to tell you Scientology because I know you don't want to watch these videos I want to tell you bitch ass motherfuckers I'm going to start uh, like uh, print screening your faces I'm going to make a collage of them that way I'll know if I've seen you more than once you know like the man in the wheelchair them there every time I go outside he's there he's he's on a uh, uh, many of the videos and uh, sometimes I don't do the videos and he's out there sitting out there shit talker that he wrote shit talk out